Welcome to this week's CEO Bulletin. I know there's a huge amount that is going on right now. Let's start on a really positive and great note. In the last month, our law program has assisted over 20 people in getting protection, which is amazing and is wonderful and something for us all to celebrate. Our working bees for our new home are kicking along. We've had 15 so far. We've put on our first slap of paint upstairs and it's starting to look beautiful. I can't wait till you all see our new home of hope when it's ready to launch in the coming weeks. It is going to be amazing. Obviously a lot's going on at the moment in terms of what's happening with Manus Island. We're going to keep putting our pressure on, demanding that Manus Island get shut down and we're not going to stop using our independence, demanding an end to mandatory detention and to the ongoing mistreatment of asylum seekers. We'll keep fighting for that as well. Guys, we've also got working bees that are coming up for our new home of hope. And if you're interested in being part of it, I've now got a Facebook group that's set up. And all you need to do is email me and I'll add you to the group so that you can get involved and become part of it. Because I know right now we could do with as many hands on deck as possible. Also, Palm Sunday is coming up on the 13th of April. We walk for justice for asylum seekers. It's a wonderful family day event. Uh, 13th of April, 2 p.m., starting at the State Library. We would love you to get involved and to come along. If you want to stay in touch with the very latest, I encourage you to check out our website, our Facebook and our Twitter. Two more critical things. If you work with any asylum seeker that's been offered a temporary humanitarian concern visa or a temporary humanitarian stay visa, these are people who have come by boat that have been found to be refugees, please make sure they come and get legal advice. We're running a drop-in clinic for asylum seekers, regardless of whether or not they're members of the ASRC, on Monday, 2 to 4, Thursday 2 to 4, Friday 2 to 4, and Tuesday and Wednesday night. Please, as a first point of contact, if someone comes in, refer them to see Kate in the Casework program, and we will critically get them that legal advice they need. Finally, unfortunately, Scott Morrison has frozen refugee visa processing till June 30. That doesn't change the outcome of whether someone's going to be accepted as a refugee. It doesn't stop people who are going to get protection visas from getting it, but it means no one's going to between now and June 30. Again, please go to our Facebook and go to our website where you can find a frequently asked question that you can give to members that explains all of that. Thank you for your amazing work. Till next week. Thank you. Goodbye.